Hello everybody, it's the Open the Book team here again. It's lovely to be with you. Do you ever get holes in your clothes? Do you have a hole in your trousers after falling down in the playground? Or have you got a hole in your sock so that your toe peeps through? Our story today starts with a little girl who has a hole in her skirt. So, let's open the book and read down through the roof. Anna stuck a finger through the hole in her skirt. How did that get there, she wondered. She would have run to her mother to have it mended, but her mother was on the other side of the house and the house was full. Packed full, jammed full, chock-a-block full. Why? because Jesus was visiting. The old man and woman standing in front of Anna shifted and she squeezed into the hole between them. She could see better now. Jesus was a lot like her father. They both taught people about God. They both prayed beautiful prayers, but Jesus could do something else, something her father had never done. Jesus could make sick people well. No wonder the whole town had crowded into her house. Suddenly, something dropped on Anna's head. Anna looked up and there was another hole, a hole in the roof. Anna stepped back. The hole got bigger. The crowd stepped back and the hole got bigger still. What's going on up there? shouted Anna's father. And instead of an answer, a man dropped through the hole. A man lying on a mat with a rope at each corner. A poor, sick man who could not even move. His friends lowered him carefully to the floor. Jesus gently laid a hand on his head. My friend, the wrong things you have done are now forgiven. Wait a minute, growled Anna's father. Just wait a minute. Only God can forgive sins. Just who do you think you are? Oh dear, thought Anna. Her father often got angry when he talked with people about God. But Jesus wasn't angry at all. Which is easier? He said calmly. To forgive a lay man's sins? Or to make him walk? It was all Anna could do not to giggle. What a silly question, she thought. One is just as hard as the other. Well, to show you that God has given me the power to fix what is wrong with the man's heart, I'll fix what's wrong with his legs. Stand up. Jesus ordered the man. You can do it. And the man did. And what is more, he rolled up his mat. And then he slung it over his shoulder and walked out through the front door. His friends climbed down from the roof to join him. The crowd followed behind, cheering. Yay! But all Anna could do was stare up through that hole and smile.
If you go home and find this story in an ordinary Bible, you'll realize that the character of Anna isn't there. She's been added into this children's Bible to help us understand the story better. Wasn't it a wonderful thing those friends did for the man who was ill and couldn't walk? They believed that Jesus could make their friend better, so they made sure that Jesus saw him. Let's close our eyes and think about the man in our story who really needed Jesus to change his life. Do you need to make a change in your life? Think about that now. Now, I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you for the people who took their friend to see Jesus. Thank you that Jesus made his legs better and forgave him for all the wrong things he'd done. When we are ill, help us to get better. And when we do wrong things, please help us to put things right. Amen. Well, bye for now. We'll see you next time 